Hi and welcome back to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And edition two for the 22-23 season of the Match Day programme. Watch away version. Yes, the away version when we look through and even score them. We don't score the City home ones and we do, do it slightly different format with the home programme. So please uh, check those out as well. They are slightly different to how I do these. So this is for the Newcastle versus City 3-3. What a game. Uh, could have been better. Could have been worse. Uh, Sunday the 21st of August 2022. So far we've checked out West Ham away, of course. A commendable a commendable 7.5 out of 10. So they're doing it. They lead the table at the moment because there's no, there's no one else. So let's have a look at what Newcastle are going to do. He's actually last season, uh, guys, if you do, if you have followed this or watched it, we're actually runners up to Watford. So there's high hopes for this uh, programme this season. And yeah, it's a great start. I mean, the cover, the cover is all, you know, I do an end of season best cover. I mean, this is, this is going to be challenging. I think it's a great cover with the sort of caricature of the player, like it was a, uh, you know, these, these players you can buy and, and obviously the, thing there is always hanging in a shop I think it's just a great cover I think it's brilliant modern modern very modern you know me I usually like old style retro stuff but this is this is brilliant this is certainly at the moment uh I say but it's got to take some beating I think to be you know hopefully City will come up with one or two classy ones and obviously when I do my art attack I speak to a lot of artists who work with City as well so I'm hoping some good stuff over the coming months so a great cover and a nice cost as well we noticed obviously with the city one it went up from three pounds to 350 last season and then it went up to four pound this season and newcastle have kept theirs down to three pound fifty so that's good 84 pages not not big not the biggest obviously uh compared to west ham it's quite small as in page size and content of course but within that 84 pages, there's only 17 pages of like promos and ads. So that's only about 20%, which is 20%, which is about the low end of promotions and adverts. And inside, nice looking layout, simple, simple layout. Um, the problem with the pages, and you can see a bit of glue coming through when you're trying to, you're trying to put them down and, and, and read them properly. And this is the trouble with the binded ones as opposed to staple ones. We keep going on about it, but doesn't make it any better it could just come up with a way of doing it a little bit better that's all the west ham one for instance uh, uh two or three pages have now fallen out of it so i'm having to put them back in but it's so it's just just how it is and it doesn't it doesn't just doesn't allow it yet it's not like for reading but if you want to get a picture of something or <laughs> you want to do something it can be a bit of a nuisance so yeah it, it, it is what it is i think well i know i won't probably comment too much this season because everyone's probably going to be the same unless you, i think united have a staple one but there's not many other teams that do doesn't look quite as packed uh, as i remember the last season's one when i want to look through so anyway apart from the normal we won't go over, we'll gloss over the manager's stuff the captains the player staff interviews for newcastle there's plenty in there the women under 18s all the academy stuff the, we just look for anything sort of quirky and interesting just to see what's in it. And of course, I'll let you know this is this cat this is available. It's not available through the Newcastle shop, unfortunately, but we'll talk about that in, in a bit. Uh yeah, in the city section, there's a nice little A to Z of Manchester City with obviously A to Z and obviously a little bit of trivia. J's J the cover uh Jimmy Grimble. So a little talk on Jimmy Grimble, who's in it, etc. That's good. Q covers QPR, which they claim is most the most likely the standout moment in 30 years of the Premier League. Oh, I think most likely, what do you mean most likely? It is the standout moment, of course it is, although we had a good one last season as well, didn't we? There's actually 10 pages in total in, on City, and it's all very, very good. Uh, if I was rating that, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 just for the 10 pages that they've done on City. And they did score highly, as I said, they finished second to Watford last season. It was a close run thing. And that's because, you know me, guys, they'll always score a little bit extra. There's some really good history in these programmes. And there is, it's no different this season. There's some good history things in it. There's something called Camera Shy, which is just simply a page, which is an old image that would have been very rarely seen. It's showing, I think it's showing the Newcastle St. James's tube. Is it tube station? They have a metro, don't they? Is it Newcastle met the metro? And obviously the Newcastle stuff for that back in the day when that was first put in. All Things Black and White is put together by their club historian, Paul Joannou. I think that's J-O-A-N-N-O-U. 
and he delves into Newcastle's history, of course, as you'd expect. A little bit of trivia. The only club they've played more often than City is Arsenal. So if City are second on them, let's say the, the club they've played the most over over the the length of time they've been in existence. So it's only it's only Arsenal that have played more than us. Also by Mr. Joanu, Tales from the Archive, which looks at old newspapers. A little bit of trivia on that. In 1932, it's an interesting one, Newcastle had a bid to put their reserve team in the Scottish League. Yeah, their second team to play in the Scottish League. They were trying, so interesting, just to play a bit more competitive football. We have the same thing now with Pep wanting, wanting a B team and stuff like that, don't we? Toon Boys, that maps out some significant... I've seen this in other... Other programmes, one or two other programmes, not many, maps out some significant locations in Newcastle's history. So obviously it looks at the places they've been. I think this is part two. I think in part one they look where uh, they played the first games when they were first established and they were called, uh, this stage are called Newcastle East End and they were one of the, one of the former names. And they'd actually moved next to something called Biker Vicarage in 1883. Biker, so I wonder if it's anywhere near Biker Grove or probably biker vicarage so i'll say biker is obviously an area isn't it <laughs> of newcastle so that was quite interesting that took me eye another sort of historic history thing among my united heroes as it suggests is just look at old newcastle players this time they have a look at someone called stuart barraclough who debuted in 1970 so i would have probably seen this guy play myself uh, it doesn't stand out but i probably saw him play uh, a few times playing he's played in total 261 times for them Collectibles and memorabilia looks at different things. This issue is looking at football cards from 1963-64. So just a little bit before I would have probably been of an age to start collecting them. What about anything specific to Newcastle and City? So there's a crossover. Yeah, X Magpies is good. It looks back at the 6th of March 1976 edition of Shoot Magazine. Now, if you know your city history, 6th of March 1976, what happened around then? Yeah, of course, it's a look at the City Newcastle League Cup final. So that was a nice little feature. And in Tomb Collectibles, a city feature in that, where Stan, a guy called Stan Gate delves into the past, including City Newcastle games in 58-59. I think Newcastle won the home 1-4-1 and we won our home 1-5-1. And uh, the game on the 24th of Feb 2001. So that, that's sort of some new city stuff. Uh, is there any other good non history stuff? That's all the history cover, which I said is pretty impressive. Toon Tombola, they are Toon Tombola. I like that. I like. I like it when they ask, you know, player profiles and they ask them not just about football, but personal things. I do like it. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, and this obviously asking non-footy stuff so there's a selection of uh, questions and so many are picked out of a hat and they ask a player so a guy called Paul Dummett for Newcastle includes his likes as listening to Working 9 Till 5 by Dolly Parton okay all right yeah sing along myself in all fairness he believes in aliens this guy and uh, Vegas and Ibiza are his two favourite holiday holiday spots okay well I certainly agree on Vegas Ibiza's all right but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd go on, go to Vegas every every if I say every day of the week. Then no, probably not not interesting. Got a bit, and a piece called Grave Dug Grave Diggers. A bit morbid the title, but it, that just looks at clubs around the world who also play in black and white. That's in interesting. Yeah, I mean, City could do a piece on teams that play in sky blue. It might be it might be something I can do in the future. What do you think, guys? Any, any use? Any? Any traction in that one? And what about the kids? Uh, you can't leave the kids out. Yeah, four pages, four pages of kids stuff, including the usual spot the different mazes, word search, a quiz and more. Again, if I rated that on its own, a good, a good steady seven out of ten. So there you go. Newcastle United, great cover. Okay, bit bit thin, bit thinnish, eight job pages, small pages. But as I said, not as many ads and promos, so not too bad. So it is very good. As I said, the history side is excellent. Plenty for me to read there. So I did uh, find a bit to read on City and Newcastle. And I've got some things on Newcastle were interesting as well, which has got to be a bonus. Only £3.50, which again is very good. Um, so what we want to know, is it as good as good or better than the West Ham programme? Well, I'll be honest with you. I've had a quick look, flick through because you, your memory goes at my age anyway. And I think it just deserves the same points. I'm going to give it seven and a half out of ten, but 
but I think West Ham just just edges it at the moment. So I'm afraid Newcastle, you're going to be sat in second spot at the moment after two two program watches. So yeah, I'll stick keep I'll keep West Ham up there, and I'll stick United Newcastle United in second spot. So yeah, so very good start though. Two good programs, two good away programs, a good start. And I did say about availability. Yeah, this Newcastle shop itself doesn't stop this. Very disappointing. I never I never understand that. Uh, I don't understand the logic why football why the club shops don't. I'm sure it's not sold out because there are copies on the internet, and I've seen copies for a fiver. I've seen copies for five twenty five, including postage. I've seen I've seen copies for seven eight pounds. So. Yeah, I wouldn't go mad on Spence. Hey, it was three pound fifty face value. So obviously, if you, you if you can get it for between five and five fifty, I think that's fair enough. Push it to say five ninety nine or something like that. But uh, so it is available on certain well known websites. So that I don't need to go into great detail of which ones do I. So, but sadly, not available from the shop. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've got this. If you had a look through, did you have a good read? Or did you just buy it to throw it in the back room and, and leave it at that? You know, like some people probably do, just as a memento that, that just sort of gets ripped up or ends up in the bin anyway at some stage. But hey, a bit more care. You know, these these things are done and they're a memory. They're a memory of that day, the memory of that, that game, memory of that season. Memory of that wonderful cover. Yeah, can't say anything about that. Right, there you go. That's Newcastle United into second spot behind West Ham. And next up, we'll have Aston Villa away. Aston Villa away. And please check out my City Home book as well, where we uh, put a little excerpt from the programme in there as well. Anything of interest that uh, catches the eye. So, slightly different format. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again, you know, I'm off something, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. <laughs>